Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it's Sean here and today I'm about to show you how to import the Apex Legends models into the program Blender. Before we start, just a small disclaimer, everything that I learned or that I'm gonna show you are things that I learned from watching tutorials and trying myself. So I'm not a pro, if you have any questions you can leave down below, but I'm not so sure that I'll be able to answer everything 100%. And the second thing, everything that I mentioned with it's a gonna link be in the description down below. First things first, you have to install the Blender app. It's very simple. You go on the website, click on download Blender 3.5.1 and just follow the steps one by one. It's very simple, nothing special and finish the installation. Step number two, we're gonna go to this website which is called the archives. This link was generated by the YouTube channel named FraxFX. He's a Spanish speaking content creator, everything which is about 3D models. In this link, there is so much about Apex Legends. That's why I ask you to go check his channel in the comments down Here below. Here's very simple. You're just gonna follow step by step. You have to click first Apex PC archive, then move to Blender plugins. You're gonna click and download the two last options. It's gonna be SE animation and SE model. Click on the three points to go back, then click on Legion Plus and download this file as well. All right, moving up to the two last things we need to prep, and it's gonna be this link here. It's a Blender plugin that you need to download. And the last one is a program which is called Game Image Util. I'm gonna give the explanation why we're gonna need all of this later once we start importing everything. On my desktop, I'm gonna reorganize everything as a checklist to see if you downloaded everything correctly. If not, just go back, follow the steps through one more time and everything will be open. So to follow with you through Blender, Legion Plus, the Cons app, the Apex plugin, the SE model, and the SE animation. Moving up, you can start opening the app Legion Plus because we're gonna slowly starting import everything to Blender. On the Legion app, our goal is to find where the Apex Legends files are located so we can open them. Just follow with me. We're gonna load file. In my case, the game is installed on drive C. We're gonna click on that. Program files 86. We're gonna scroll down and click on Steam apps. Come on. Apex Legends after that, then forward with PEX, Windows 64. Try to sort everything by size so the biggest file is on the top. Select the legend slash skins dot are back. And here's a better overview of all the legend skins that we have at the moment. There is a lot of things in this app. For me, it's clean, but we're gonna go on settings and make sure that only models and animations are selected at the moment. On the right side, as model formats, we're gonna have to export one time in cast and one time in SE model. And later on, we will have to export one time in animations, as you can see on the SE animation format. Moving up, I'm gonna search for the Catalyst skin that I wanted to show you today. The name of each skin ends with a V or a W. We will select the W and press P to view it. After choosing a skin, you're gonna click on export. While I was making this video, I ran into a problem, so I had to download an older version of Legend Plus and do all the same over Don't worry if it happens with you, all the Legion apps, they work all the same. After that, I exported one time as SE model and one time as Don't forget guest. to select a folder where you're gonna export everything together. This folder, it's gonna be important for later. Moving up to the folder that we chose, select the Catalyst folder and in there it's gonna be two very important things. As explained before, there's gonna be two files, the .cast and the .se model. And the cast are like the images related to the skin. The images we're gonna need to use as a skin for Catalyst, they all mixed up. The program called Image Util, it's gonna make sure that everything is sorted very important for later on. All you'll need to do is open the code app, click on the cast file and drag it to the program. And as you see the results, Everything is sorted. Body, gear, hair, and so on. Right, moving up to number three. We're gonna start importing everything to Blender. So we're gonna open the file. First things first, we're gonna import the three plugins that we downloaded before. Very simple, you're gonna go to edit, preferences, install. You have to select the folder where everything is downloaded. You do the same for the both files. You select SE animation, you click on install atoms, you go back and do the same for SE model. If everything is done correctly, you can search or you can scroll down and you're gonna see that both of the plugins are installed. Moving up to the last 
next plugin we're gonna just minimize blender you're gonna double click on the plugin blender will open once more with the plugin already working where this one is the same i won't give any explanation we're gonna come back later if on. until now everything is done correctly you will be able to open by going on file click on import and at the end it's gonna be the option se model by clicking on it a folder will open and after that we will have to find the folder where we exported everything about catalyst after finding it select the second option now the se model. after doing that we're gonna import for the first time our legend for at the moment the shape is too big there is no colors there's nothing don't worry we're gonna follow step by step so we can give a final shape to the skin with the scroll button you can zoom in and out you're gonna click on the right button on top of your screen this option makes sure that the skin comes in contact with light later on we will see more in detail on the right side of your screen we're gonna rename the skin of catalyst and we're gonna delete the cube the cube is just a default for the blender app the model of catalyst is still too big moving up to the right lower side of your screen you're gonna select the square and change these values to 0.04 and a small zoom in to see the skin better with your mouse wheel button you will be able to rotate in the world around we're gonna rotate our catalyst skin for that click on the right side on the catalyst go on the left side and by clicking on the specific button you will activate something With this you will be able to position the catalyst skin better you also can go on the right side on the yellow square on the right side you can change the values again to position her perfectly moving up on the top of the screen we're gonna select the option shading and here we're gonna give some life back to our catalyst as you see she's full of big dots all these points are movement points where you can rotate a part of her body but at the moment it's just in our way if you go once more on the right menu on the lower side click on the running figure select viewport and on viewport you're gonna uncheck everything which is checked there just a small tip always make sure that your catalyst is selected moving up by clicking on the body of catalyst you're gonna select a body part as you do that these icons down below they will appear you can reorganize everything but the two big in the middle you can delete them as we downloaded the special apex plugin we're gonna go to add you can search it up for the apex and the first plugin apex something shader that you see you're gonna select it once more as you can see everything here is connectable as you see on the screen on the right side click and drag to the smaller plugin we're gonna open the folder which contains everything from catalyst once more and in the folder there is a smaller folder named body and you can see here the name of the file as well which was selected we're gonna go into this folder and you're gonna see images everything that you need to do is click and drag these images into blender near the plugins after dragging the first one click on the arrow to minimize and we're gonna do the same for everything which is listed on the folder after doing that we're gonna have this overview all the images they have the same name as in the plugins everything we need to do is click on the, the yellow points and drag them to connect each other every time you do that the skin is gonna change the last one is gonna be emissive i left it at the end because sometimes when you connect it it will give you an error where everything is gonna go white if it is like this just remove this one. if it's not we can continue the process to finish the model is very simple every time you select the pink side of the model it's gonna have a name this name will always be linked on the folder and you need to do this repeatedly process until everything is finished as we did the first one and everything should be clear while i am talking i'm gonna fast forward everything until the skin is done just to make it very clear you select the pink region you drag all the images again and you connect all the points I left the eye for the end sometime we have to repeat this process for the eye as well because on this model the eye is pretty good already i'm just gonna delete the two pink regions around the eye this is a very slowly process i know but once everything is done it should look fine we're gonna move now to layout so we can set up the rest we will have to start to introducing some elements to our world i'm talking about of course a camera and some lights to begin with the camera it will serve for our final render on the higher left corner we're we're gonna select ads and we're gonna go to camera and click on it make sure that the camera is selected it should be from default we're gonna click on the icon on your left side of your screen to move your camera around it works on the same way as the other models as i move and rotate the camera around we'll put it on a position where i can see the legend and to check if it's good on the right side of your screen there is an icon of a camera you can click on it and this will be the view that it's gonna be 
in the final. Wait. So for now I'll exit in a second and place the camera in a better position until I am satisfied. One step forward and we're gonna add some lights. The process is the same, you go on the left corner and, and you select light. We're gonna select sun for now. Once sun is selected, you will see already that there is some I'm light. gonna change the name of the sun, you don't need to. The most important is we need to configure it. Therefore, you're gonna select the sun once more. You're gonna scroll down a little bit and you will be able to see a light icon. Click on it. Once there, we will have to play a little bit with the values and the colors to make sure that everything looks natural. I will pick for now one white beige-ish color. I will change the strength to give our legend a depth of field. If you are satisfied with the color and the strength, you can solve for now. We will select your light and position it as the same way we did for the camera. Once more to add some depth into the image, I will rotate the light so we can play a little bit with the shadow and the light. After you think it's good, you can stop on the right corner. I unchecked the shadows. Sometimes it gives better results. Together with the first light, we're gonna add a second one blueish and a third one to fill the gaps. So the process is very clear. Consider yourself to play with the angles of the lights, the strength and the color to give it a more natural look. I'm gonna fast forward in a video a little bit. So basically I just add a second blue light and a third white light. And after trying a little bit, this is the result. It looks good, can be better, but we're gonna stop here to spare your time, of course. And finally moving to the last part of this tutorial, how to move your legends in a very short and fast way and how to export it. So to give it a cool move, we'll have to minimize the blender for now. We're gonna open the Legion app once more. We're gonna select the legends.r pack again, go to settings and leave only load animations checked. After that, you can close the smaller window. We're gonna search for the animation of our catalyst. After you found it, you're gonna click on it and export it. You can maximize the blender again or reopen the app and to see and import all the animations we just exported. Follow the same steps as going file, import, SE animation. As you saw on the video, if you don't select Catalyst, you won't be able to import her animations. After selecting SE animation, you will have to try to find the, the same folder as we exported all the models and the animations. Not all the animations ever worked for me. You will have to try everything out. And the good thing is you also can mix and combine them. For example, in this case, I have a lot of animations already exported. And because the first two of Catalyst weren't working, I will select one of Bloodhound. Just a small tip and information. Once you go into the folder where the animations are selected, for example, in this case from Catalyst. I always sort them by size, the biggest one above. Most of the times, the biggest ones are the better ones. Or also in the search bar above, you can type their glad cards. And these animations are the ones related to the cool banners in game. I selected the Bloodhound one, which he is calling his Raven. Double click and after waiting a little bit, it will process and your legend will be placed in a weird position. All you need to do is select Catalyst, go to the left corner and change it from pose mode to object mode. You need to change it to the object mode or else you won't be able to, to rotate and place your model. As we done before with the lights and the camera, after you selected Catalyst, you will be able to move it again. Rotate her and place her as you want and you will see that she's already on a special pose. We can keep this one or we can change it a little bit more and go on the lower bar again, you will be able to change the timeline and this timeline will decide whether you stop or not, how the model is going to be posed. As soon as you're done, you can leave it for now and we're going to go to layout again. After deciding the pose, I'm going to do the last adjustments. Just make sure she's perfect in image. Before we move on with the last step, which is the render of the image, the next two are not necessary. You are free to do if you want to have a better image quality. You will move to the right side of your screen, click on this icon and we will change the image resolution. The standard is 10 HP, but I will put on 4K. Moving up to the camera quality, Same. select your camera model on the right side of your screen. Then after selecting camera, I'm going to move to the lower side of the screen and select the new camera item. One of the options is that you can move the camera left and right, up and down. I don't like to do it very much because you can leave the camera default and always use the same Blender file and add other models because at the end you will always have to reposition 
position your model and you will spare some time. And the last option to check or not, it's gonna depend on you. It's the depth of field. When you select it, the camera will go blur. This will just make sure that the camera will be more realistic and pick everything which is closer and farther away. Don't forget to change the value, to change the blurriness level. To finish this video, we're gonna go to the left side on render and click on render image. Zoom out and after so much, the results are here. With the maxed out resolution, everything is clear and crispy. Of course, you need to save the image if you wanna use it for a project. I was trying something, so I changed the lights at the back. So you will see it's a little bit more rose, but it doesn't change that much. Save it the image as you like, as you want it. And of course, I hope everything was clear. It's a very slow process. It took me a while how to learn it and do it faster. And there's still a lot of things that I wanna learn how to do it. Everything I'm gonna ask you to leave a comment and a like down below. It took so much time and effort to do it. But at the end, I thank you very, very much for watching. And I see you on the next one. Peace.